Hi guys, it's Micah. I am back from vacation and I thought it would be fun to do a little haul. Um, Joan B. gave me some stuff, which is cool. This is the, uh, the Tarot by Jamie Hankin from 1999. This is just a majors only um, photography deck. Put our info there. So these are the backs. They're like, the silver part's shiny. I think you can see that. Oh. So it's cool that they list like the stylist, hair and makeup, all that. And then there's just like brief sentence quotes on the cards, I guess. So that's like your little white book. And then we get into it. So, cool, black and white, a little vintage -y. Look at that magician. It's cool the use of um, focus and out of focus. I don't remember if Joan said this was like, um, like a graduation thing for school or just to promote the um, photography artwork. I don't remember. But I've never seen it before. It's like... Very, very papery. Whoa, look at that female pope. I'd go to that church. <laughs> the lovers, how pretty. Chariot on that motorcycle. Oh, I just realized there's a little um, zodiac on, on the top. So we had the cancer for the chariot. Justice, very um, Black Swan movie, but that came out after this deck. Lantern for the, the Seeker instead of, what, the Hermit? The Wheel. Is that like an old style, like, roulette wheel or something? I don't know. I don't gamble, so. Strength. What am I looking at here? I see she has a sword. I don't know what this is. Does anybody know what that is? I don't know. Okay. Hangman. Temperance. I love these wings. Very um, 80s, early 90s with this uh, this devil year. The tower. I don't think this depicts um, the traditional meaning of the card, but that's just me. The star. Very pretty. Same with the moon. Let me... Interesting we don't we don't have a sun in the sun and if if any of these cards were to be photographed outside I figured it would have been the sun. Maybe that's just me. Judgment. It's cool how they got this shot because you think there would be like um string harness, but you think that would get in the way. I don't know. Maybe she jumped on a trampoline. I don't know. And then the universe instead of the world. So that's that. What do I want to do next? So many things. Okay, so. She put it in this bag. Look at you little octopus or squid. So. You're probably going to recognize this. Um, is it the enchanted or embroidered or... I don't know. It's one of those. <laughs> it has a different name on Amazon now. But um, this is the original, the Instant Tarot Reader, the Monty Farber deck. 
Okay, and it came in this box set. Look at this. So, we don't know if there was, like, originally a tuck box or if this whole thing was just, like, cellophane, right? Because they had to have fit in there, right? Because this is what the packaging would have looked like. All right. There's the book. Here's this, this thingy. So, Joan told me a little bit about the book, but I didn't um, read on it on my own. But she said, like, there's basically, to do the Celtic cross, it says what each card would be in each position. So... If you picked uh, the two of wands and in the Celtic cross, it was six, what crowns you. It would be good to take some quiet time for mapping out your plan. Visualize yourself on a cloud overlooking your situation. See the big picture of how things are. See what is coming down the road toward you. So, yeah, that's why it's called, like, the instant tarot reader. I mean, because all the meanings are just there, you know? Which I could be really cool to learn how to do big spreads, right? I completely knew what this deck was called on Amazon, and now I forget. So, I'll, I'll post it below or something. So, these are the backs. Um, they do have this ugly copyright. 1997 Zerner Farber Editions. And... Yeah, um, the cardstock's like super papery, but look how tiny it is. It's just a little baby. Um, yeah, I might do a full walkthrough. I know there's probably plenty on this deck, just not this edition. I don't know if there's any changes. So, yeah. Cool, right? I've never, I never owned a deck with packaging quite like that. And she gave me a bag with some dice. Oh. All right. Oh, this is hefty, man. This is like, it's, it's more suede than velvet and then it's lined. Got the skull double pin and then we got dice so we got black and red like a marbly black two pinks and look at the little skull guy yeah and then a glitter green so yeah and then jewelry um got this little mushroom guy Wow, my hands look really dirty up close. Thank you, cats. Okay. Look how cute. And I'm, I'm a sucker for a good box chain, right? And then I kind of wanted your guys' opinion on this. Let me turn this light back on. So, I don't know what these... Let me get the focus going here. Is it going to... Am I going to be on the struggle bus? Okay. Can somebody tell me what they think these beads are? Um, we were thinking maybe they were glass, but they feel too heavy. Like, they feel like stone. But I don't know what real stone would look like this. There's, um, there's like a bunch of little circles, but there's no stripes, right? And I was like, well, maybe it's like painted clay beads. I don't know. They're they're definitely not plastic. Like it has weight to it. So yeah. And then you got a sun. My my focus is going everywhere, guys. In the little hand. There we go. All right. So yeah, um please let me know if anybody thinks they know what this could be. Because that would be cool. 
All right, I plan to do more videos soon. I'm getting my groove back. Thanks for watching.